I'm actually gonna work these questions out on the video um, that's gonna go to YouTube, but just so you know, if you take out the V to the second, then you have to subtract the exponents, right? So it'd be V to the 10th plus nine V squared minus six V plus nine, which would have been D. All right, nicely done, Hunter. Uh, after you take out the five, you get five parentheses, V squared plus seven, V plus 10, finding the factors of 10 that sum to seven, which are two and five. Hunter's still in the lead. All right, good job. Again, finding the factors of the last that sum to the middle. There was nothing to take out at the beginning. Factors of positive 32 that sum to negative 12 are 4 and 8, both negative. Natalie has the highest answer streak, 7 in a row. Okay, so this time you're factoring by grouping, right? Grouping them in twos from this first set of parentheses, you can take out the r squared. From the second set of parentheses, you can take out the eight. You get r squared parentheses s r six r plus seven plus eight six r plus seven. Take out the six r plus seven, and then multiply that times r squared plus eight. was rough okay um this is the difference of two perfect cubes so remember we do the cube root of the first one the cube root of 125 is 5 the cube root of x to the third is x 
we do the cube root of the second one. The cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of y to the 6 is y squared because y squared times y squared times y squared gives you y to the 6th. So you take it and divide it by 2, okay? Now, the first set of parentheses is those two terms, 5x and 3y squared. Second set of parentheses, we square the first term, which is 25x squared. We square the last one, which is 9y to the fourth. And then we multiply the two together. 5 times 3 is 15xy squared. And then the signs are, remember, soap. Same, which would be a minus. Opposite, which is plus. Positive, which is plus. And then that's what your answer should have been. So cubes is definitely one of the ones that uh, tripped up a lot of people on your test. You want to still make sure because we're moving. And when we move forward, the next section still uses factoring. So it's important that you understand these things. They don't go away. Let's see, see who that, who that, oh man, I did it again. Who that one killed. Tamil moved up. Tamil, if you win and it's your birthday, it's a double lollipopper. Back to the factor by grouping. All right, so it should be, again, create account, then your name, your email, your birth year you need to select. I would put no for exclusive Cengage offers, but that's up to you. Enter your password and then create the account. Anybody not able to do that? Okay, then when you get into WebAssign, you should be looking at something like this screen, okay? From the drop-down menu where it says courses, you should only have Algebra 2, so you're gonna click on Algebra 2. 